NPC stuff will not be held responsible for any issues that are, may arise by following this video. This is for informative purposes only. Installation is done at your own risk. This is Mike from NPC Stuff, and I'm going to show you now how to install uh, the thick pads onto the NPC element. Uh, this unit here, as you can see, we already have the thick pads on it, and we also have a white faceplate skin. Uh, we're going to go ahead and show you. It's not, that doesn't really make a difference on us installing these, so we're going to show you how to take it apart. I'm going to flip over to another video real quick where you'll see how to take this outer casing off. That's going to be the first step to this. Um, ours already has a skin on it, so it's going to be a little different because the skin will come up a lot easier than the outer casing does. So now I'm going to show you that video now. This pick's going to allow us to take the front panel off right here. Um, another thing you can use is a really thin knife, a uh, really thin screwdriver or something like that. Uh, unfortunately, on the MPC Fly, uh, the top plate has to be sacrificed to get to the parts where you can see the screws to put the pads on. So when buying one, you're going to have to buy a new top plate here, which is shown on our website. Or you can also just take a skin and put the skin over the top. Um, so as you can see, when you select to buy the MPC Fly, you can buy this background piece along with it. That way you'll be able to install the pads and then put the old thing back on. You'll see what I mean in a moment. All right, now as you can see, we have our pick that we've taken into this corner here and started to lift up the edge. What I suggest is putting on some gloves to start peeling up this part here. Um, be careful because it's kind of sharp because it is made out of metal. So what you're going to do is you're going to go and you're going to peel up this panel. Like I said, this part's going to end up being sacrificed because you won't be able to bend it back into place to make it look okay. Um, I don't think they really built this unit to be serviceable very well, and that's why this piece has to be removed. So once you get this off, you'll notice underneath we have these screws. Uh, I'm going to show you each screw that now has to be removed. Um, and then we'll get to the pack. All right, now that you saw that video, you'll see that it's a little thicker than what the skin is that we put on here. What we did here is change the skin because when we change these out, when you change the pads, you're gonna see, obviously, like you did in the last video, that the top panel is actually going to get ruined when you pull it off. Um, the good thing about the skins is the skins can actually come off decently and they can go back on without being ruined. Um, so what we do suggest is just buying a skin to put on uh, once you're finished installing. That way you don't have to buy the new outer casing piece that's a little more expensive. Um, all right, but now we're going to go to the next step. The next step, you're going to see all the screws in here. Kind of pointing them out right now. And all these screws, once you've taken that top piece off, need to come out so we can get to the pads. Now that we have all our screws out, all we're going to have to do here is just open up this front panel. Kind of hard. Best part is to try to get your fingernail kind of inside there. What I did is I used a little screwdriver with electrical tape on the end just so I wouldn't scratch up the plastic. As you can see. pull up here and you'll be on the inside. Now, keep in mind ours already had the thick pads installed, so we're kind of going a little bit backwards in a way. When you pull up your machine and when you open up your unit, you're going to see this. So you're going to see a whole piece that's all one piece with everything included. That being said, in order to install the new thick pads, we've taken those out from the inside. You'll have to cut your piece off like this, that way you have the bottom here, cut here, so then you have your side piece here, and you cut there, so you have your side piece there. So now you can see what we have here is the different pieces. They have little knobs on them, notches that will go in there. So now that we've separated them, then we can add our thick pads onto it. Uh, again, I'll show you, here's how it was originally and you need to cut the areas out here, here, and here. That way you separate the pads from the rest of the options there. And then we go ahead 
we'll put our thick pads back on. You'll see the little holes in here that show where they go. We go ahead and put that in there. Uh, on this particular unit, we don't really recommend the corks. If you want to try the corks out, uh, you can. Some people might find it too sensitive. Although on this unit, the way it's built, it's so close in there that you probably do not need the corks to make it extra sensitive. Um, with the software itself, you can also adjust sensitivity pretty well. So once you have everything cut out, like we talked about here and here, you put the new pads in. And we're going to go ahead and just put our old case piece back on. I should probably put it on the proper way. And you'll feel it kind of click back into place. Once you feel it clicking back into place, just check. Make sure everything's good. Make sure your pads aren't pulled up or anything like that. And make sure these are all in the proper places. And then we're going to go to the next step where we're going to add the screws back. So now we're going to put our screws back in. All right, now that we have all our screws in, there's gonna be two ways to do this. You can get a, a skin from MPC stuff to put back on top. Uh, just keep in mind, the only thing about the skin is you're gonna have little areas like this, this, and these little openings, that when you put a skin back on, the skin's not as thick. It doesn't have that metal adhesive that the other one has. So those might sink in just a little bit. Um, mine's been reused a few times, so it's probably not gonna look as good as it will when you first put a skin on it. Um, another option would be just to buy on our site. We do sell the original uh, plate that goes on. You'll notice on our plate that we sell on the site, the element one is not available. So we only have the one that's in silver that says MPC fly. Um, it's identical. The only difference you'll see is it says fly right here rather than nothing. Uh, so our skins don't say anything on it element because they can be worked with the fly or the element. So then you're just going to put your skin or the faceplate, depending on which way, which route you decide to go, back on. Like I said, my skin's been on here so many times, it's not gonna go back on as perfect as it will when it's, it's brand new and fresh. I've done this quite a few times now, but Either way, you can get the idea. Then you'll put your skin back on or the faceplate, depending on which way you go. And then you'll have your thick pads on there. Um, the thick pads are only available at mpcstuff.com. And the back plates casings are also sold separately as well.